this. I, uh, oh, where no. are we going to wear matching outfits? And I said, I have a bunny suit. And you were like, cool. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, cool, Doe. <laughs> I remember this conversation. Oh, man. This is awkward. Uh, yeah. Well, as you can tell, we have a hair-raising good time together. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, I, this is hot. I'm going to change. If you're not going to wear your bunny no, suit. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Will no, you un yeah, can course. you unzip me? Yes, of course. Thank you. you. All right. There you go, bud. All right. Thank you. All right. Hop along. All and right. I guess I'll get started. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Jory Burson. And uh, my colleague, Joe the Bunny, uh, is, is joining me here. But um, as he... Uh, disrobes, derobes. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about um, the first, you know, two, we're going to talk about the first 200 days of our adventures as the OpenJS Foundation Cross Project Council. But just for some context, um, even though the OpenJS Foundation itself is, is a newer organization, we're built on a pretty long history of um, open collaboration that really started like like a long time ago um, with the jQuery project, with the Dojo projects, independently coming together and realizing, hey, we need to work together in some neutral way to um, govern and grow our communities. So, you know, we, we've, we've seen this as a community if, you've, if you started in JavaScript development in the uh, 2000s, you know, with those projects, with Node um, announcing and then growing to the point that eventually it needed a foundation um, to, and then um, realizing that, hey, in 2017 and 2018, there's a bit of a duplication of efforts here. Like we could probably do more together than we can, um, uh, than we can separately. So like, let's, let's share this experience. Let's share this, um, this burden together and, and kind of build from there. So where do we fit into this is sort of the next question. Like, you know, if we think about our foundation having a bit of an origin story, this long history of um, um, growing and learning and, and um, sharing like myself, I came into the picture uh, with jQuery in the uh, late uh, 2010s. Um, and I started watching my colleagues who were working on jQuery and I got involved in the project and said, gosh, this is really fascinating. Like, um, how these groups are coming together to decide, you know, what sorts of things we should add to our project uh, is very, it's, it's, it's really cool. Like, it's, it was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. I enjoyed working um, in a team that way, and uh, that kind of started my uh, falling down the rabbit hole, if you will, um, into open source. Yeah, and I, I started um, when I worked at Sears a long time ago. Um, if anyone remembers Sears. Uh, um, yeah. And when I was there, there, there was a really great community of developers there uh, in terms of the team. We were doing a lot of brown bag lunch and learns and uh, going to uh, meetups and a really great community. Um, <clears throat> and from there, everywhere I went, I was always kind of trying to replicate that or find that again. Ended up working at Strongloop and IBM and uh, got involved in uh, the Node Foundation and found it to be a welcoming community and also very accessible because everything that, that we were doing was out in the open. Uh, so that's how I got into it. And I think, you know, following along on that thought, um, the, the foundation... I think we have some notes here too, huh? No? Well, okay. yeah. All right, they're in my head. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, we had started uh, the, the foundation, uh, the, the project moved into the foundation, and all of that activity was happening online and uh, working through it. And, uh, and it definitely, like, in a radically open sort of way. Yeah. Um, and I think that's sort of one of those values that having brought forward from the Node project into the foundation that, that is sort of an example of experience, lessons learned. Exactly. That kind of sort of thing, so... So the uh, intent to merge was announced uh, last year at Node.js uh, Interactive. And immediately, we started kind of doing this uh, uh, radical in the open uh, uh, collaborating. And you know, this is at the collab summit on the left in the big picture. Uh, but even the window, uh, the post-it notes, that was during the event, we broke off into different groups and started to talk about how something like this could work and how things would come together and, and how we would kind of uh, bring all of the things that we had in both the, the foundations together to make a, a greater space. 
I loved it because it was like this immediate excitement to like, you know, great, we're, we're sharing this, this next step with the community. Like, let's get started on it like right away. And, you know, so, hey, we got this beautiful glass wall. Let's yeah. sticky it up and get to work. And, and in, in, that, in that instance, too, it was two people from the, the JS Foundation and two people from the Node Foundation, you know, new people getting together and working things out. It was really great. So we hope that you imagine now sharing our origin stories here. Like this could be, you know, part of hopefully this is part of your origin story with foundation. Like, imagine yourself five years from now thinking about right now when you get involved. In, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> um, so we we thought, you know, that that was just over a year ago now, um, and since we announced um, our intent to merge, and then we became officially the OpenJS Foundation in March of this year, we've had over 40 cross-project council meetings of an hour or more, so this is lots and lots of hours of lots and lots of people's times, um, all on the open that we've been um, broadcasting these things on YouTube. You can go read the, uh, read the minutes on GitHub. Um, and we've had, um, we're growing 66 people and accounting to our GitHub organization. And these are people who are joining the cross project counselor and participating in some, some way. Um, so. Yeah, and, and the, there are a few other repos there as well, like the summits mm -hmm. that people are getting involved in. And I just wanted to comment too that, you know, Jory wanted to put a hard line on the CPC meetings, like when we were the official CPC, mm -hmm. but we were the bootstrap committee before that working on, uh, you know, making this happen. So it was actually well over 40 meetings. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have uh, uh, 217 commits to the CPC repo as of yesterday morning or something. Mm -hmm. um, so lots of activity. Uh, I found this graph. This is from, you know, pretty much from the event um, uh, the, the last year's Node.js Interactive. And um, for the first like third of that is the bootstrap work and then uh, we just renamed the project. But just, I mean, that's a lot of activity. It's been really great. Mm -hmm. A lot of people from a lot of different projects working really hard. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, we have this uh, collaboration page, get uh, openjsf.org slash collaboration where you can, uh, there are a variety of resources there, but in particular uh, links to the, the, the GitHub work uh, that we're doing, which like I said, like everything that we're doing is out in the open, uh, streaming meetings, uh, meeting notes are being merged in, uh, all these things. Yeah, definitely. So check this out. Um, so, you know, the next question is like, okay, we're doing all this stuff in the open and, and you might be going, okay, great, but like why, what's the purpose of the Cross Project Council? What do you do? Um, and really uh, for uh, us, we were thinking about this um, as the task of helping our community build their communities. Um, each of our projects is special and has their own needs and they're, they're, they're unique and they're awesome. Um, and we don't, we want to support that. We want to um, encourage that. We want to grow that. Um, but there's also a lot of shared needs and there's a lot of great things we can learn from each other and there's a lot of synergy we can create if we are um, building those communities together. So um, I, I love this analogy of like an urban uh, city, right, where that city has its own sort of, um, you know, identity. But within uh, the city, there's also lots of communities that, that make make it up, that make it rich, that make it um, meaningful and, and awesome. And so that's what we um, hope to be able to um, foster. Uh, yeah. We're 200 days in, so uh, <laughs> you know it takes a long time to build an awesome city, but... Uh, project neighborhoods. Project neighborhoods, yes. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're doing um, with, with all of this energy. Um, and, you know, again, 200 days is like not a super lot of time, um, but I think we've made pretty good progress. We meet weekly. I keep thinking like, oh, eventually we'll go every other week, but we have no. a full agenda every week. <laughs> yeah, that'll be yeah. <laughs> Maybe when we retire. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so, you know, what have, we, what have we been talking about with those, those hours? Um, we are obviously spending a lot of time thinking about creating and, and sustaining community programming, which we'll tell you a little bit more about some of those programs here in a minute. But, um, you know, there's a lot of things we want to provide. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, we've already got four new projects uh, to the foundation, so there's been a lot of work around that. Um, not only, you know, evaluating applications, but also, like, what does the process look like? And then as people are coming in, too, we're learning through that process and updating. And what's great is the people that are coming in 
are contributing. You know, they're creating pull requests and issues and driving some of these conversations. So it's been really great. Yeah, and I want to thank uh, Toby Langel who, from with the AMP Project, who's been like super, super uh, helpful to that regard. So you know, we're we're onboarding our new incubating uh, projects. We've got our existing projects that we're um, helping to uh, update their policies and also making sure that we're sharing best practices across our projects. Um, and you know, also very, very importantly. Um, supporting our maintainers, right? So the, the maintenance of, of these projects is huge, um, and we want to make sure that everybody feels like they have the support and the resources of the ecosystem behind them when they have to do whatever it is they need to do. Yeah, with, uh, with lots community. of stuff going on. So. Lots of stuff. <laughs> so we hope that you're excited about all of this stuff, and we tell you about a little bit of the projects now, um, some of our some of our programs, and this is just like the start. So, you yeah. know, bear that in mind. Yeah, so the Travel Fund is, is one of the programs that, um, uh, you know, we're, we're working on currently. It was started in the Node Foundation in 2016. Um, we've had over 30 requests approved in 2019. I know of several people who are here because of the Travel Fund. Uh, so it's really great um, if you get involved and you want to uh, come to Austin in June where the event will be next year. Um, you know, that's something you could consider as, a, as a, you know, someone a part of uh, the work that we're doing. And it started in uh, the Node Foundation, but we're looking, there are a few projects that we're looking to elevate to uh, allow other projects to, to take greater advantage of this. And um, I think Jonah from, from Webpack is, is an example of just somebody from the community who says, hey, I want to you know, help champion this and evolve this a little bit more. So. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was great. That's another thing, like if, if, um, if you're interested in getting involved, uh, like Jory was saying, Jonah just volunteered, and uh, we've got a lot of great people in the community that if you volunteer, they're happy to help support you. It's just not something that they may be able to champion but we've got a lot of uh, folks that are ready to support anyone who wants to get involved and, and get active. Yeah, so um, with this, we, we're really hoping to uh, make sure that, that anybody who's a contributor to our project communities feels like this is a resource they can access to help um, get them places they may not be able to go because perhaps a a, an employer doesn't quite sponsor the, all the costs and all that sort of thing, so very valuable. Um, so, you know, another uh, program that we're working on is the Standards Working Group um, in the OpenJS Foundation. So, um, you know, open source and uh, open standards are two uh, halves of a coin that are very important, and they're very important to me. Um, and we are a proud member of the W3C and also ECMA International, which is the group behind uh, TC39. Um, there is a lot of feedback we can be uh, providing the standards uh, community, there's a lot of feedback the standards community can be providing us. We want to make sure that um, folks who are active in our project communities feel they have a voice in these spaces and um, understand how they can get involved. We're, we are constantly having those conversations um, with folks like Wendy from the W3C who was here a little early earlier. Um, we want to make that a very clear program and benefit for our for our project. Yeah, yeah. And, and on that note too, like maintainers have enough work to do. Like if we can help them as a part of the foundation to work with these standards groups, uh, you know, and, and then bring things back to the mm -hmm. projects, you know, it's definitely something we'd like to do. Uh, user feedback is another program that started in Node. And um, it started in 2017. That uh, image there is one of the uh, surveys that we did. Uh, this seems like another thing that would be great for, you know, more projects in the foundation. Uh, the idea is we would have a framework in place, and, and this is fairly fleshed out. I, I need to still move the repo over to, uh, to the OpenJSF org, but a framework in place where projects who are trying to make decisions but want to get data on, you know, questions they may have, uh, can can you know craft craft these questions work with the foundation to maybe further flesh them out to make sure they're they're gonna get the data points that they're looking for and then the foundation can help them execute and uh, you know return some uh, some data back to them to help them make these decisions and work through different um, you know whether they're features or, or what have you it can be very helpful 
I mean, I'm really excited about this particular program because I think it will be awesome when we can, as a community, work in a more like data-driven way and we have this sort of like system for how we ask questions of our community and we um, integrate the, the feedback and the lessons learned from that, those questions. Um, one thing, here's a program idea. Um, anybody love like BigQuery and HTTP archive and all that sort of stuff? Like let's do some, let's do some stuff with that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be great feedback. Yeah. Uh, infrastructure. So um, this is another set of programs that we're really um, just sort of diving into. All of these open source projects need infrastructure, and it is a mess sometimes. So um, we have a uh, menu of services that the uh, infrastructure services that the foundation provides, um, and that's sort of a baseline uh, in terms of you know uh, what what a project might need in terms of servers, in terms of um, CI support, you know domains. Da, 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 da. Um, and that that's sort of just the, the starting point. But there's lots of other infrastructure needs too that especially our, some of our larger projects might have. And we are um, excited about um, getting more into um, helping ease the burden for those projects uh, when it comes to um, you know their, their infrastructure needs. And that's uh, certainly a space that if you have DevOps, DevOps skills, this is something that you are excited about um, influencing, the, this is a program um, that I want desperately to talk to you about. Because yeah, yeah, and, and the, the, Node, the Node project in particular, uh, you know, that's something that we're working on for sure. And then with, uh, you know, AMP joining, we have uh, a session tomorrow mm -hmm. to kind of work through some of those thoughts as well, which is my segue. Yeah, <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> uh, so, you know, another program that we uh, are, are uh, managing and, and trying to build upon is the Collaborator Summit, uh, which I mentioned, you know, we have uh, a, a bunch of great sessions uh, there tomorrow, some around nodes, some around... Uh, AMP, some around um, just kind of general how do we support these projects better. Uh, we have a bunch of open time for the Cross Project Council to kind of flesh some of the things that we're uh, working out further. Um, what else for the Collab Summit? Well, I think it's just a really, um, it's a wonderful time for people from all the different project communities to come together and talk about some of those shared experiences um, and shared concerns like security, for example, or infrastructure, as I mentioned before, um, but also, you know, and how to solve those things tactically, but also for more of like the blue sky conversations of like, what could we be doing? What can we do to make things, um, you know, uh, even better? And uh, that's, that's one of the main topics of the conversation tomorrow. So we're hoping to seed that now a little bit. Yeah, we, we had, I think the one in Berlin was kind of the first one that was opened up beyond uh, Node. And we had uh, some really great healthy conversations and different voices in these conversations. And I, I found it to be really uh, a, a great event. Likewise. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there, are, I mean, these are some specific programs we've talked about, but there's also a lot of other benefits to projects uh, within the foundation that the CPC helps um, facilitate to, um, to, to a large extent. Um, one is for our projects providing some just legal support. Um, so, you know, there's obviously the standard, you know, IP policies and things like that. But, you know, you may be saying, oh, well, I want to understand a little bit more about the difference between, um, you know, should my project have a CLA? Should we use the DCO? What, what should we do? Like, these are kinds of questions that um, the foundation staff and um, the, the support from the CPC, your peers in the community, can help you answer. Um, project governance support. There's a lot of years of uh, experience managing open source projects among the, the individuals on the CPC. For example, Dylan Scheiman, who's uh, with the Dojo Project, he's been around for a while, right? <laughs> like, dude has seen some stuff. So if you have questions, if you're running into, um, you know, oh, gosh, what should I do? You need some advice. There's so many people who are willing to um, help mentor you, uh, not just on a project, but also, like, in your career. They're, like, awesome people. Yeah, agreed. Uh, and then, of course, um, I would be totally remiss if I didn't talk about um, the staff's uh, marketing and, and PR. Rachel Romoff is just amazing. Uh, and our, our new executive director, uh, Robin, not Robert, <laughs> um, bring with them a lot of uh, marketing and, and PR expertise uh, to help you kind of think about your project, your positioning, like how to tell the story um, that you want to tell to your community, to potential uh, consumers, to potential 
potential um, yeah, contributors as well um, the, to, to, about your project. Um, what else? If there's anything that, you know, and again, bearing in mind that we're still new CPC, 200 days, um, if there's anything that you see missing or you'd like to see us do or you think we could be doing better, um, which is probably, you know, not, like, it's probably a lot, right? <laughs> like, well, there's always room for improvement. Yep. Um, we would love to hear from you. Um, yeah, there are a variety of ways to get involved, and we wanted this to kind of, uh, you know, uh, come to a uh, call to action of sorts. Um, like we've said, we work out in the open. The magic happens in issues and PRs. We have a, a, a good, uh, well-documented uh, proposal process. So if you get involved and there's something you're interested in, you know, uh, you can follow those steps. It's not too hard. Um, help and improve and maintain uh, existing programs. Uh, there's just, there's a lot of work to be done and uh, we've got a great group of people but we could we could definitely use more and, and mm -hmm. start to split off into some working groups and things like that too where we can really focus on things. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and um, so we adopted a um, for, for program ideas for improvements that sort of thing we, we adopted a staging process because we're engineers right <laughs> so it's like oh we're gonna do this like TC39 does we're in the staging process. Um, so, you know, ideas that we say are stage zero or stage one, these are sort of like, you know, any, they're open, they're up for grabs. Somebody threw some spaghetti at a wall and they thought, like, this might be a good idea. And we're like, yeah, that could be a good idea. Let's save that. Uh, and we're looking for, you know, help or um, su support with that. So, like, uh, the, like Commons JS is one idea. Outreach groups uh, is another idea. Um, I don't know. I was like, I was, I'm one of those who's like, here's a bunch of spaghetti at <laughs> walls. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and again, we're going to have uh, some sessions at the Collab Summit uh, tomorrow and the next day, so we'll, we're going to yeah. work on these further. Yeah, so please join us. Um. Yeah, we, we, I pointed this out earlier, um, but I'll, I'll share it again. Uh, openjsf.org slash collaboration. I usually type in collaborate and then remember it's collaboration. But it has links to getting involved on Slack, uh, the mailing lists, um, the calendars up there. Um, I don't know if the YouTube link is specifically up there, but I'm, I'm going to uh, ask to get that up there. Uh, like we said, our, our uh, meetings are open, uh, observers are encouraged, but also they're live streamed. Our meetings are live streamed, mm -hmm. and meeting notes are PR'd into GitHub, which reminds me I have to get the last few <laughs> meetings PR'd in. Yeah, we have we we have a, a number of different channels, as you said, like, um, and they're all open to you, right? So, like, you know, you don't, you don't have to wait to be invited to the Slack channel. If you just click that link, you too. And thank you for so many of you who are joining the Slack channel this week at the at the event. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, that we have a mailing list. If that's how you prefer to consume updates, um, about once a week, I send a massive email um, about what we've been up to. So uh, there's there's plenty of ways to uh, get news you can use, yep. which is the title of my newsletter. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so uh, we are going to have an open office hours like now, um, you know, 4 p.m. or pretty much once I can put my bunny suit away. <laughs> um, and uh, Jory's got to go re get ready for a panel, but I think Michael offered and Michael uh, voluntold uh, Chris Hiller to come. <laughs> uh, so there'll be a, a few of us there. <laughs> and, uh, uh, we'd be happy to answer questions and, and talk more about uh, any of these things. Uh, Emily's here as well. I'm, I just voluntold him. Um, so yeah, uh, we'd be happy to chat. So that's kind of in the, the couch area and the sponsor area we'll plan to be. Yeah, so we'll just show this up here one more time. Um, you know, our direct messages are open. Um, I know that for, um, for, it can be a little intimidating to join, you know, a group of people who've been collaborating for a while. We want to totally eliminate that intimidation factor for you. Um, so if there's a thing in the world we can do to um, help uh, you get hooked in to some of this, the stuff that's going on with any of our project, with the Cross Project Council, please um, let us know. That is exactly what we're here for. Yep. Um, and we, are, we, we hope to see you very soon um, in Slack uh, at the meetings. Yep, in GitHub. On GitHub. Yep. In, in our meetings in Zoom, there's a little button where you can raise your hand. So if you, you know, feel like you're not getting an opportunity to speak, we pay attention to that and make sure everybody's voices get heard and yeah, work through it. Yeah. So, cool. Cool. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks, Honey Bunny. <laughs>